The plus minus average node is a common math node that allows the user to add, subtract, or get the average of multiple inputs. There are three different types of inputs, input 1D, input 2D, and input 3D. The difference between these inputs is how many sets of input values there are. With 1D, you can connect one single value at a time, whereas input 2D, you can connect two values. And the same for 3D, you can connect three values. There isn't any specific number of inputs that can be connected to the plus minus average node. You can input as many values as you need. The operation for the node, whether it be add, subtract, or get the average of, can be changed in the attribute editor. The final calculation values can be used as an output to connect to another input. A practical use for the plus minus average node is to get the sum total of a joint chain. For example, if you're building a stretchy limb. So I have a basic IK arm set up right here. And the first thing we need to do to build a stretchy IK is to get the max length of the joints. We do that by adding the translate X values of the elbow and wrist joint. So I will select these two joints and open the node editor and just click this little add button in here to bring them in. Next I will click this button up here at the top left to open up our node menu. And the plus minus average node is under the utility nodes menu. Scroll down. There it is. And I click it and it should show up in the scene. I'm going to highlight all three of these and click this button right here, which opens up all the inputs and outputs on any node I have selected. So, to make the connection, I will drag translate x into input 1d of the plus minus average node, because translate x is a single value, so 1d works just fine. Now normally I would do that, but Maya has been giving me issues lately where it crashes anytime I plug it in to a plus minus average node. Now the reason for this is when I usually drag it into the input 1D0 that you see right there, it will automatically create another input value underneath it. However, Maya crashes anytime it tries to do that. So what I'm going to do is manually add a few input into the plus minus average node to avoid that problem. And I do that by running a simple set adder command on that plus minus average node. If I just set the attribute to zero, it automatically creates them. So actually, I'm going to quit just in point. That run. And there we go. So now if I look at the plus minus average node, you see it has three inputs as opposed to one. And this will allow me to make the connections without my crashing. So now I'm going to drag the translate x of the two joints into the input 1d values. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. You'll notice I can't actually see the sum anywhere. The node only calculates the value. So to see the value, we have to connect the node to something else. So real quick, I'm just going to create just any node, like a multiply divide. There it is. I'm just going to connect the output 1D into the input 1X of the multiply divide node. And there you can see the sum total of the translate X values of the joint. 
And that's it. So in the next video, we'll go over the multiply divide mode.